Well, hey, you all. Uh, today we're traveling uh, from Missouri over to Oklahoma. Um, it's been, you know, been interesting being back out on the open road during uh, during this pandemic. Um, you know, I noticed a few differences with the hotel. Um, you know, like stores, they do the social distancing in the lobby. They ask you to stand back, and and then you know they have their their plastic shields up. But um, a lot of that is similar. Um, what is not was a little different now is they do not do day to day um, housekeeping. They don't come into your room while you're there. Um, if you need towels or toilet paper or stuff like that, you can request it. They'll they'll give it to you. But um, yeah, they they don't come into your room and clean until you are gone, which I think is a, is, is probably a good safety precaution so they can just do it once and make sure that they're totally prepared to protect themselves and give the room a full and total cleaning. But anyways, on our way to Oklahoma, but uh, I wanted to stop and see a few things along the way. So please, follow me. When you're traveling out here on the open road, one of the things that you want to keep an eye out, one of the things that you want to visit, want to experience is world's largest things. And here we stopped in Springfield, Missouri to see this. Clocking in at 35 feet tall, we have the world's largest fork. See, it goes almost to the top of that building. Let's check out those tines right there. This sign here says, welcome to the world's largest fork, standing 35 feet tall, made of polished stainless steel and signifying the home of the Food Channel. I guess uh, this building here, I don't see a sign or a lot of signage telling us what's going on in here, but I guess the, the Food Channel is, is occurring somewhere in uh, that building. Now further out west, uh, you can stand in four states at the same time. Those four states being Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. A couple years ago, a couple years ago, I got a chance to actually go out there and lay down across all four states at the same time, and it's super fun. And out here in this area, you can do almost the exact same thing. Well, minus one state, because here we have the often overlooked Three Corner Monument. Yeah, it's off this small dirt road in this secluded little area. But right there, it was remonumented in 2004. I guess it was originally a point, it was originally established 1857. So I guess right now, okay, where are we right now? We're standing in Oklahoma. And we got uh, Missouri right here. So right foot Missouri, left foot Oklahoma. However, both my big toes are currently in Kansas. Different parts of your body, you know, have to uh, abide by different laws, different state laws. I guess it's only responsible to do the uh, three state lie down. But the, ah, it's concrete, it's pretty hot. But there you go, the sun is in my eyes, the concrete is burning my skin. But there you go, I laid in three states all at once. I don't know the significance of this monument. You would think that it had something to do with the, the three states, but it has been greatly desecrated. People have written their names all over it. People have removed the plaque. There's another removed plaque right here. Oh, here's a plaque that's only been partially removed. Someone really wanted that plaque. Tried to tear it away. The National Youth Administration Work Project. I guess they came together and made this wonderful stone spire. I'm sure we could read all about it if people would quit stealing the plaques. Now we can actually drive in a loop around the monument. I believe, okay, 
we're currently in Oklahoma, driving on this side of the monument. And now, okay, I think we just hit Oklahoma. If you look in the mirror, where that is. Okay, we're in Kansas. Kansas, just hit Kansas. And right again, we're in Oklahoma. And coming up again into Missouri. Let's do one more. I'm gonna pass here, take a left into Kansas and back down into Oklahoma. And then finally coming back up into Missouri. That felt, that felt very productive. Now we're passing through Pitcher, Oklahoma, and there can only be one town that ranks number one. And Pitcher ranks number one in the EPA's list of most toxic towns in America. Pitcher, Oklahoma here was a mining town where they mined for zinc and lead. And they did some environmental studies in 1996 Turns out one third of the children in this town had lead poisoning, which is, you know, I, I'm not a scientist. I don't understand how things like that work necessarily. I feel that's too much. I feel one out of every three children having lead poisoning is far too much lead poisoning. So the town evacuated after that. Um, they offered people money to move. A few people stayed, the majority of people moved. But then right after that, an F4 tornado came whirling through town. A big toxic lead-filled tornado ripped through the town and pretty much destroyed just about everything left. One of the only remaining residents of Pitcher, Oklahoma is this concrete gorilla, the former mascot of the old high school. The high school's been blown away. All his friends died from lead poisoning. That is one sad gorilla. You can see how heavy his heart is just by looking in his sad gorilla eyes. See the old broken down fire truck there. If you look up, there's the old tornado sirens. All through the town, you can see these giant mountains, what is known as mining chat, that is uh, leftover material from the mining process where they were mining lead and zinc, and it just left in massive piles out here. All that mining chat, this is a completely flat part of the country, it's just all mining waste. You can see this neighborhood here is just completely abandoned. Every house has been completely left behind and or destroyed. Yeah, all the houses that keep out signs on them. Kind of sad, you can think about yards were once full of children and families cooking out, barbecuing, enjoying the time with their neighbors. Now they're like a shadow of a neighborhood. Yards are mowed though, like someone is doing some sort of maintenance and keeping things in some semblance of order. Believe it or not, look right there. Looks like there is one house left. One person still living in this former neighborhood. Now 
And we stopped off here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, right here on the Mother Road. This right here is Route 66, and I've traveled the entirety of Route 66 in the past. But I wanted to revisit Route 66 here in this particular spot. You see, Route 66, known for a lot of classic attractions, classic bits of Americana, old gas stations, old roadside attractions, but every so often a new attraction pops up, a new roadside attraction, a new spot to celebrate the Mother Road, and that is why we are here. It's a new attraction in the name of Buck's Cosmic Curios, open up in this location right here. Now, I'm very sad to say, um, the shop is currently closed. I was unable to make it here on time, but we can take a little peek through the window. This is their mascot, Buck Adams, a literal space cowboy. Down the window, we can see a replica of the giant gold driller, an icon here in Tulsa. Oh man, I want so bad for them to be open. I mean, please take my money. They got some cool t-shirts there. Look at that, we got a little bobblehead, golden driller. I really like that little camera robot. At least he's got a camera for a head. I'm not sure what his body is made out of. It's another little camera bot there. That is so cool. And this here is just a true thing of beauty. The Muffler Man version of Buck Adams, the space cowboy. You can see he is wearing both a cowboy hat and a space helmet. He's holding a rocket there, very similar to the Gemini Giant on Route 66 in Illinois, holding that rocket there. Oh, I just noticed on his belt buckle, he has got a 66. Very, very entrenched in Route 66 culture. Now, as you can see here, Buck Adams, Space Cowboy. He was built by Mark Klein of Enchanted Castle Studios. My friend Mark Klein lives out in Natural Bridge, Virginia. He is an absolute wizard when it comes to fiberglass. He has done an absolute amazing job of creating this brand new icon of the Mother Road, Buck Adam. You can see that classic muffler man face with the big wide jaw. For comparison, you can see my little tiny foot next to Buck's massive boot. How you doing up there, Buck? And look at this guy here. We got some sort of giant pinata robot out here. Pretty cool. Love all the interesting sci-fi theme here. Let's get your kicks on Route 66. Oh, there we even have a little Sasquatch there on the fence. All right, we have traveled to downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma, which hosts a very, very strange and unexplained anomaly right here in the center of the city. This spot right here, this location is known as the sonic center of the universe. Supposedly if you stand directly in the circle, the sonic circle, your voice will become bizarrely distorted and changed. Um, it apparently is an unexplained phenomenon. No one really understands how this is affecting you, what sort of supernatural powers are causing your voice to warp and change. Maybe aliens are speaking through you. Maybe it's demonic possession. Who knows, but we are about to find out what happens when you stand in the center of the Sonic Universe. You can see this very strange sculpture here next to the Sonic Center of the Universe. They kind of just pull the giant metal cloud on top. You can see in the base, they have some designs It looks like there's some hands in the metal up there. Some people cut out right there. All right, we're gonna brave the center of the universe. Going to stop right there. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? I don't know if this is translating, but this is really strange. Feels like my head is a tin can and I can hear my own voice echoing inside. I'm really wondering if this is showing up on camera. Wow, this, yeah, yeah, this definitely very bizarre. I'll give you guys kind of a circular view around me. Wow, I don't know any scientists out there. Please explain if you know what is happening. But yeah, oh my gosh. Appreciate, appreciate, let's appreciate you guys joining me here today as we travel across the great state of Oklahoma to the very center of the universe here in Tulsa. It's our voice sound no longer makes sense as the, the the universe itself folds in on itself it also seems like you have to be right there in the center you almost step off a little bit it doesn't seem quite right but thank you if you'd like to see other places i've been please check the interactive map in the description of this video if you'd like to uh, make recommendations where i should visit and uh and i, and I will i will look at those comments Visits. I'm sorry, I'm very disorientated right now because of the cosmic pressure on my brain. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying an enamel pin in the Etsy shop. Consider donating to Patreon, $3 or more. We'll get you a postcard once a month. But until next time, this one's in the bag.